Captain on the bridge. Ori captains, we are back here on the bridge, and today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed, so on screen. Yes, captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. As always, hit that like button, and also if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge, where we're always on the lookout for like-minded captains, where we can share our love, our passion, or Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now with that said, here we go, Captains. We got a couple things to go over, so as we normally do, we'll go over them, drop the two ECs, and then at the end, give our conclusion. So, first up here, happy anniversary to Star Trek Enterprise. Got a great shot of the crew here, and yes, Star Trek Enterprise wasn't necessarily my favorite until I saw some of the Star Trek sort of battles they did on screen and that's when I kind of fell in love with the NX. Didn't like it at first but it grew on me because they did they did stay true to kind of that Star Trek battles that I actually fell in love with in Star Trek TNG with kind of the slow waltz in space with the phasers, photons, loved it. So and I hope in the near future that one of these actors actually lends their talents here to Star Trek Online so that we can have a crew or have a actor represented here in Star Trek Online, hopefully. And also get that Annex Bridge. I do want that Annex Bridge for some reason. It's really, really cool looking in my opinion. So there is that again. Happy anniversary to Star Trek Enterprise. Now, there was this that was supposed to happen tonight. Now, tonight's all new feature, or at least yesterday as of this video, will be announcing, as some of you have guessed, a brand new legendary bundle. What two ships will be a part of it? So this was supposed to be announced, but after that we got this, Ambassador Kale lost power. So we're pulling the plug on this for tonight. We'll try to reschedule for later this week. And we hope they do because what they have been doing for the last couple months here is doing a stow stream every other week. If they don't do it this week, that means we would have to wait another two weeks. So hopefully that is something that they stick to and that they can just squeeze in here so we can find out what two ships now Obviously, Captains, you already saw the thumbnail. One of our guesses is the Fortescue. Why? Well, because with the release of Incursion, they did remaster the Fortescue, which I do have a problem with. And the problem is this should have been remastered and also have given us a legendary version already back in the year of Kl the Klingon and actually included in the actual anniversary bundle that they released that year of the 11th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. We should have already gotten this, but it's getting released now. Now for the Border Skew, again, one of those ships that I didn't really like at first, but once I saw it and really kind of looked at it, it is really, really good design in my opinion. And it is worthy of being the KDF flagship and I'm glad we're getting it. I just feel like we should have gotten it from the year of the Klingon or when that had happened and included in that legendary bundle because in that bundle you got the Bop, the Borcha, the Ambassador, and the Excelsior. The two Federation ships didn't make sense. I would have rather have this ship and the Borcha and Bop. That's it. That would have made so much more sense as opposed to adding those two ships in there. But regardless, it's been remastered with Incursion, and that is my guess, obviously, for the Legendary ships. Now, for the other ship, and I'm going to just kind of go with what I've been hearing and what has been said on forums and on Reddit, is this. And which, if they do this, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem with, but I think it's going to be and I agree with some others, going to be the inquiry with this deflector. I think we did a video on this that wanting that this because Dave Blass from Star Trek Picard had confirmed that this design is indeed canon and it was shown on a screen or something, but it was like such a small little thing. But regardless, I don't care. He said it was actually canon. this design, which this makes a lot more sense than the barbecue grill that we got. I don't like the barbecue grill because it just that didn't make sense. Now, having said that, 
This also belongs to the family of the Arbiter. There, because these are the two ships here that are is in the family here of it. And these two ships I didn't really like, but now it, this is why I think we're getting a legendary version one. Of course, there's a ship that saw on Star Trek Picard, but now also this. Now we're gonna get that confirmation 100% when that stream does happen and I hope it's just now the problem I have with it is we have this ship and it was a promo ship I believe a promo or, or lockbox or whatever expensive ship now this was sold briefly in the low buy store now if they give us the legendary version that's going to mean that this skin will be exclusively locked to that inquiry that's going to be in this bundle if this is the ship indeed in that bundle it would have been nice if they would have just given us that skin for free with the other inquiry that we had gotten previous to this, if this is indeed the ship. We'll have to wait and see, but that's mostly what's going to happen because that's usually what has happened with the legendary versions of the ships. That new skin is locked to the legendary version. So it's going to, that's going to be my problem with it, but I think we are going to get this because of well one this does look a lot better but two and most importantly the board is having finally a legendary version we don't have a tier five well actually we do have a tier five it's the one that you can get in the shipyard but we don't have like the full tier five or not even tier six so i'll be happy to get that for my kdf and probably even force me to make a tune and or change his ship that he's currently on to the board is so my guess, of course, the Legendary Border Skew and the Inquiry for the incoming two-pack Legendary version that they hinted to here on the X-Feed. So there's that. Hopefully we'll find out. And Captains, you know, we will share that here on the bridge, of course, our ECs once they do release that. Next up and finally here, so the MUDS new Cruiserweight Choice Pack is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. They forgot the D. Seriously? Seriously. So to the console bridge, this is coming this Thursday, the 28th. Captain, that is actually my birthday. So we're turning 42. That is that is hurtful to say. But regardless, Caps, you guys keep us young here and we'll keep doing what we do here because we do still love Star Trek Online and slash Star Trek. Now, we already did a video of this. So I'm just going to link this in the description below and my opinion on this has not changed i i feel like this was not a good muds bundle other than getting this these three ships here which you can get as a choice for the three the walker we already have a version of two versions of that obviously and then of course the geminar i just feel so thrown together but it is what it is again i will link that video in the description below to know my thoughts but quickly it's i don't think it's worth it for me now if you're a new player it, it might be because you if you pick the ships these are going to be account unlocked because you can buy them in the store having said that the price for them it it's going to depend on you if you think it's going to be worth it or not for me i already have these ships here the 20th century ship pack and the Walker class. Well, I don't have the Talis here. I have the legendary version of the Talis and the legendary version of the D7. And of course we have the legendary version of the Connie and the Temple version, the first one that ever came out. It'd be nice to have it account lock, but for the price of what it comes out into the mud store, I don't think it is. So again, that video will be linked here in the description below. So you captains can look at that. Again, my opinion has not changed on that whatsoever. So there you go caps that is the video that is our two ec so i think again with the two incoming legendary ships it's going to be the board skew and the inquiry let's wait and see hit that like button comment below let us know what you think those two legendary ships will be and of course if you're new here once again consider subscribing here to the youtube bridge and we'll leave it on this note Live long and prosper.